The acronym SJW, or Social Justice Warrior, is most often used in a pejorative way to mock someone who is presumed to be a virtue signaling attention seeker. But for others, the term social justice calls to mind the revered examples of those who worked to overturn unjust laws and to uphold human dignity, like the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. or William Wilberforce. The term social justice has become such a muddled catchphrase that it's difficult to define it with specificity. For some, social justice means that every person must be treated equally in every circumstance, without regard to the difference between the people themselves. For others, social justice represents a just society that allows for the unique potential of each human being to be fully achieved. The various conceptions of social justice include equality, needs, merit, and social utility. Like the term itself, defining those who are involved in causes of social justice can also be wildly disparate. Today, the concept of social justice has quite a secular connotation, but its origins are indisputably rooted in what is called Catholic social thought or Catholic social doctrine. Although a reference to social justice can be found in the Federalist Papers and inferred from the work of St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas, the coining of the term social justice as a philosophy or political ideal is most often attributed to the mid-19th century writings of an Italian Catholic priest, Luigi Taparelli. A member of the Society of Jesus, Father Taparelli was said to have influenced Rerum Novarum, the papal encyclical widely considered to be the foundational document of Catholic social thought and social justice movements. Taparelli asserted that social justice was a societal norm or construct where individuals, families, and associations would be permitted the maximum range of liberty in pursuit of the good with a minimum of interference or direction from governmental authorities. Social justice, at its most fundamental level, is based on the premise that each human person is made in the image and likeness of God. Social justice is necessary in order to help people to live their lives with authentic meaning, free to become their truest selves without interference from and with the assistance of societal structures, including government. Social justice is also grounded in the common good. The common good begins with a presumption that all human life, from conception to natural death, merits dignity and respect, and that directly killing is a violation of human dignity. So, the common good presumes human rights in their most basic form, the right not to be killed. No law or policy can serve the common good if it violates this principle. To act on behalf of the common good means that for each individual or association, the optimal conditions backed by societal structures and life-affirming laws exist to help them reach their full potential. A society or structure that prevents another from developing his or her talents or from forming and maintaining healthy and loving family lives and friendships contravenes both the dignity of the human person and the common good. Social justice may appear to be an unattainable goal. The rights of the individual and the common good will always be in tension. But social justice in its truest form is not, as some have described it, the preference of those who prefer government solutions to human problems, funded by the redistribution of wealth. A true social justice framework is one where the sum total of social conditions exist, where people may fully develop their gifts and their talents.